right guys, well what I'd like to do is just show you a few testers here that we have got that um, the different, the good and the bad of these testers and um, so we're going to start over here with the Seawood Apollo in New Zealand and Australia sometimes this is called the um, Prime Test Elite and it's basically the same unit it is actually quite a nice little unit uh, looks very nice, you'd think it's a touch screen because uh, it's all colour and you can tap it, but unfortunately <laughs> you can tap it very hard and it still doesn't actually behave as a touch screen, possibly because it isn't a touch screen. So, but we can select functions along here. Uh, so it is quite a nice little tester. It's got a camera built into it. You can disconnect the power and you can run it on batteries. Um, unfortunately, um, it uh, has a weak thing in its design. It's more a compliance tester than a safety tester. Uh, one of the big things that, that it's lacking is it doesn't have the ability to do an earthbound test um, at a high current. You can only do the earth test at 200 milliamps. The um, rest of it is very nice. It's nice to hold. Possibly you would drop it if you held it for too long because it's a bit awkward. It does have a camera built into it, so if you want to take pictures, and uh, you know, uh, it's probably not bad <laughs> for that. But as far as electrical testing, it's definitely uh, the fact that it's missing the earth bond test, uh, the high current earth bond test, doesn't actually give it really a lot of marks. So it looks nice, looks pretty. Uh, yeah, I like the look of it, but is it do a good job? Sorry, not really. And you actually pay a lot of money for it. You're paying about just under $4,000 for it, as you see it there. Next, we'll move to this little one here which is a little mega unit. Mega is quite a good brand. It is actually a well-known brand. Um, so this one can also run off batteries. Um, but again, like it's the one we've just talked about, this unit, uh, is, well, it's a lot cheaper. It's around about $1,300, $1,400. Uh, it can't, hasn't got a memory or anything. It's quite a basic unit. Uh, it's, it probably does as good a job as the previous unit at a lot cheaper price. It doesn't have a memory as I say, but it also doesn't do a high current earth test. It can only do an earth test at 200 milliamps. So yeah, uh, it's quite nice in some respects. It's, you know, you can have it handheld. It's got a nice little case, but yeah, where the rubber meets the road, sadly, it's not quite going to meet the thing. It's legal, it's compliance, but that's really it. Good brand but yeah, possibly not the best tester. Then, okay, what do we got now? We've got the big brother of the Mega. So this is the Mega 420. As you can see, it's handheld if you've got a big hand. <laughs> My hand doesn't look like it's quite big enough. So I guess it's not quite handheld or two handhelds. Um, it also looks like it should be touch screen. Um, it's, it's a color screen, but it's again, it's not touch screen. Okay, so nothing happens. So it's got a full, full QWERTY keypad. This model comes in two different types. So it can do a high current test. Some of the models can, and some of them will only do a 200 milliamp earth bond test. It's got a memory of, I think, um, I think from memory it's about 15,000 items. And it can do pretty much every test that you need it to do. What it um, can't do in the um, low current version, obviously, is a high current earth bond test. But there's two different versions. One has the high current and one doesn't. It looks very much the same. So if you're looking for them, you need to make sure that it says up the top that it can do a 25 amp earth bond. Okay? Um, but the brand, again, is a good brand. Um, so, yeah, it's not um, probably particularly user friendly. It takes a lot of getting used to entering data and um, dealing with the, the testing itself. It's a good solid tester, but user friendliness is quite lacking. Okay, and here we have a, a new one that's on the market, and this is the um, Metro EasyPat 10, and 10 stands for the fact that it can actually do a 10 amp earth bomb test. So it can run on batteries as well. So if we unplug that, you can see it's now running on batteries. Um, if we plug it back in, it'll then go back to running on mains. So this, but this is quite unique in that it uh, uh, it can do a 200 milliamp earth bomb test, 
and also it can do a 10 amp earth bond test as well um, when it's plugged into the mains. This will do a leakage test and everything else along with RCDs. This has a basic memory of about a thousand items, so it probably very much competes with the, the smaller mega tester and the big Seawood test, oh, sorry, and the Seawood Apollo. The Seawood Apollo obviously is a lot more expensive. Um, this one is around about $1,700, and this one does have a memory still, uh, and it does do the high current earth test. So this would be the, f of, um, of the handheld units, this would be the only tester on the market today that is more than a compliance tester. This is actually a safety tester. So it, it tests the equipment for compliance plus for safety. So it's a really good little unit. Also you can actually, with this one, you can add a printer for about another $200 and the printer cartridge that it uses is a uh, Brother cartridge. So you can get it in different colors. Uh, and it's also a very good little tag that it produces. So it makes this little tester into quite a, um, complete little system and we are working on a um, an app to go on it so you'll be able to enter data with your smartphones as well that this one also as I say comes like this which has a little printer in the bottom here okay so that's a, a good option for people so now we come to the Metro iPad now this one is used by Metro test uh, in our own testing division. This is all used right throughout New Zealand. We have a lot of these in service by our guys and um, This one stores a million items in its memory as a standard memory um, The memory size isn't that important, but it can do a lot of other amazing things that the other testers can't do It's the only one at the moment that's touch screen so you can just touch on the screen It can be used for testing electrical items, but it can also be used for testing other things that are non-electrical it has a printer attached built into it. Uh, you cover that up, it's protected, uh, and you pick it up, and it's all in one. It's not particularly, it's not a really light tester, but it's certainly not heavy. We have a girl working for us who's a, a small girl, and she is um, quite happily carrying one of these around all day, so it's certainly not oversized. Um, it has a thermal transfer printer built into it, so it's ideal. It won't fade or anything in the sunlight or heat. And what it can also do is it can print out a tag that um, has two different colors on it. So you can use a green tag or a red tag, okay? Uh, and if, if you're doing a lot of testing, it also will be able to do double tagging, which means that, say if you're testing a computer monitor and a lead, you can actually test them together and get two tags, which means that you've basically cut your testing time in some situations in half. So it can, it's got a lot of features, um, and um, but not only does it do have all those features, it's a real tester. It actually is a safety tester. It can test at 200 milliamps, 10 amps, and 25 amps. This would be, if you've got a reasonable volume of testing to do, this would definitely be the best unit on the market uh, because it's not only is it um, able to test fast, it stores lots of data, but it does a real job of the testing. Um, and the reason I guess it is so much better maybe than the other ones on the market, this has been developed by us, so it has MetroTest DNA in it. Uh, so we actually use these testers involved in the design. So part of this is built in New Zealand, part, most of it's built in Poland, but the design really comes from New Zealand. Mm -hmm.